they originally won. They have sent military men. They have threatened the EC officer. They've created chaos. They've shot three people. I hear, I hear, is it two? Two are dead. Seven are in critical conditions, which means that they shot even more than three people. They created chaos. They, they, at that point, they had to get to the electoral commission to re collate the results and re engineer the results in the favor of the MPP. Let me make this point very emphatically, without equivocation, that we are going to pursue Techiman South to the hilt. We have won that seat. And no matter what we will do to get the writing and the mandate of the people of Tetiman South to be respected by the Electoral Commission, we are going to do that. They have since done the same in Takwa constituency. Takwa Swaim is a constituency we know we won. We won super massively. All pink seats were available. Only for us to wake up, they have sent military men and policemen at gunpoint, threatening the returning officer, and he has declared them winners of that constituency. They recounted the constituency five times, and I'm sure most of you are very abreast with the laws of election. If you want any recount, you can do any number of recounts at the polling station level. If at the point, the officer, the presiding officer, decides that he can't count anymore. He will make you fill a form, which will be attached to the box. Then when it gets to the coalition center, it will be counted. So the law stipulates clearly that at the coalition center, you do not do any counting of, of, of ballot papers. But we have the case whereby with the use of brute force, with the use of illegal brute force, they got the presiding officer at the Takwa and Swahim constituency to breach the law, to breach the CI 127, to count that ballot box five solid times. Each of the four times that they counted, the NDC was winning. Until finally they did another counting and there was magic. Ballot papers came from nowhere and the MPP have won that constituency. We are making this point clear that we are not accepting that resource in Takwa and Swahim constituency because for the first time the people of Takwa and Swahim have spoken and they've spoken very loud on behalf of the NDC and they gave that seat to us. So we are going to pursue every means possible to make sure that the true will of the people of Takwa and Swahim prevails. <laughs> Having said that, it is clear that the NDC has won majority seats in parliament. And we are all well good to form a majority side of parliament with a speaker and with a majority leader. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen, you are asking about Upper West, OT and Gota. In fact, OT, we won 100%. All the nine constituencies, all the eight constituencies, we won everything. OT was 100%. Then Upper West, out of the 11 seats, we won nine out of the 11. Is it nine or eight? Eight out of the 11. So that tells you the strength, the support that the people of this country has given to the NDC in this all important election. As we said, as we said, we were on a rescue mission. And this rescue mission runs at the core of the survival of the very existence of our own beings. And for that matter, that is why everybody got involved in this election, voted super massively for President John Dramani Mahama and our parliamentary candidates. Let me use this opportunity to thank all Ghanaians our supporters, our pooling agents, our coalition agents, the international observers, the local observers, the media, for the support that you gave us in delivering this most successful campaign 
and most successful and sweet victory in the 2020 elections. We are very gratified by the support. We are gratified by the vigilance that our people continue to exhibit on the field. But let me make the point very clear. It is not over until it is over. It is not over until we compel the Mensa and the Electoral Commission to let the true will of the people prevail. So whilst at it, it is important that as they started mobilizing state security and off state security to threaten returning officers, to threaten EC officials, to get them to change results, we must show them that the power of the people has always reigned supreme. And for that matter, no amount of guns, no amount of weapons, no amount of intimidation, no amount of order from above will prevail beyond the power of the people. And the only way, ladies and gentlemen, that we can exemplify the power of the people is to mass up in our numbers, in our multitudes, at the coalition centers where they are finalizing the coalition, whether regional level, constituency level, or national level. We would open our eyes, we would increase our lenses of vigilance, we would follow through already. We have caught them. They have tried to smuggle some unusual pink sheets into the, the, the coalition center at the national coalition center. And our agents there have exposed them. We shall continue to be vigilant. We shall ensure that the true will of the people will prevail. We shall resist in no uncertain terms and without equivocation. Any attempt by the President Akufuado government to suppress the will of the people, to subvert the will of the people, to steal the mandates of the people with criminal collusion with the EC. Let me repeat. We shall resist. In no uncertain terms, we shall resist. I'm stating without equivocation that we shall resist any attempt by the Electoral Commission and President Akufuado to steal the mandate of the people. Whilst at it, let me use the opportunity to call on the outgoing president, President Akufuado, to ask a matter of importance and agency, concede defeat that he has lost the 2020 general elections. Let me repeat. Let me repeat. Let me use this opportunity to ask a matter of urgency and importance. Call on the outgoing president, President William Akufu Addo, to concede defeat in the interest of our sovereignty, in the interest of the sanctity of our democracy, in the interest of the very people that he claims he wants to fight for. He must concede defeat, and it's very important. Let me also use the opportunity to call on all international observers. Let's call on all religious leaders. Let's call on all traditional leaders. Let's call on all development partners and our friends in the other political parties to impress on President Akufuado to do the needful. Thank you. To impress on President Akufuado to do the right thing in the interest of the unborn generations. On this note, we we'll thank you for having time to spend with us. We pray and hope that in the next few hours, the Electoral Commission, based on our vigilance, based on the work that we are doing with them, will not go and do any differential calculus and come and give us differential results. We want the real results that reflect the true will of the people. On this note, let me announce to all our supporters that you are free to jubilate. Yeah.